<laughs> the air pressure just changed. Hello everyone, Katopi here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Um, this is another different one. This is my first cup pour. I've not done one of these before, uh, but I've studied people doing a whole bunch of them and it's something that I really wanted to do. So I have a cup. Um, it is the size of liquid. I actually don't know. Um, that's 200 mil. Yeah, we'll, we'll say it's about 200. Okay, 200 mil. Uh, for those Hello everyone, Katobi from the future here. Sorry about this. My explanation of the liquids was terrible and so we've got ASMR. ASMR. the cup um, we have the following colors we have silver I've uh, thinned that out a little bit we have my swipe white so that's just got oh sorry so yeah the silver is pouring medium and silver the swipe white is white titanium white and Australian flow troll then we've got my gold which I haven't done anything with that's just gold and um, my pouring medium um, then we've got sunflower again, just shoved a sunflower in there, squeezed it, put some pouring medium in, all good. Uh, and then our friend pink. Um, and so I'm going to lay down a base of black. I think that's the best way to start. Before we do that... Just have to do this. Beautiful, that came out well. All right. And my base paint is my black. And then I've um, mixed that down with my pouring medium, which I'm, I'm still keeping hold of the recipe. Um, I, I just, not 100% sure on it. It's working, but um, I'm not sure if it'll change over time, so we're still early videos yet and I'd hate to give people the wrong impression um, about what I'm using especially if in the future it changes okay, sorry, I was holding that right up in the air I do see a couple of Kitty cat hairs. Remember if you uh, purchase one of my canvases from me, you're more than guaranteed to get at least one hidden cat hair in there, even if I've tried my utmost best to alleviate that. Uh, I just want to be very forthcoming and honest about it. Um, I have cats and they are really good at sharing their, as we like to call it, um, glitter. Cat glitter. <laughs> Just looking at the reflection of the light. Seeing if there's anything odd about any areas and then just picking up what I can. That's what's nice about being able to do this, moving it around, because I can actually see uh, what's on the canvas. Now my canvases are actually flat. Um, I use this little doodad to flatten it and I just pop it around. So just move it around and obviously in the center and um, yeah we're doing okay. And that just sits up there but I know this is this is relatively centered so I don't have to check every single time. I do want to make a couple more collection containers and when I do I'm going to have to make sure they conform. Um, I've had to make markings in this one, oh, which is not sitting in. Um, yeah, to make sure it's nice and flat. Anyway, that seems to be almost spread out so we'll go a bit more in the corner, in the 
corner, a bit more up the top. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to plonk that in there with the black. So, being the first time I've ever done this, um, I think from what I recall, whatever's on the bottom normally goes to the top. And I do want pink to be a primary, primary color. I can't really say that, can I? Primary color, but you know what I mean if I say that. I don't mean, <laughs> I wish pink was actually red. So uh, we're going to pop that in there. Now these are relatively thin. Uh, the one that isn't thin at all, haven't haven't thinned out, is the gold. So white. Oh, this is really actually quite difficult to do one-handed. <laughs> Gently on the side yellow. Lovely. I'm going to have to put this down. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's pretty neat. It's a yellow, then the gold. Oh, I want to clean my tip. Clean your tips as you go. Okay, now the gold. Can I just do that? Oh, looky, looky. Ball bearing in it. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, gold. Then ah, that's the last one. Then we got the silver. Which I deliberately thinned out some more. easy enough to um, to thicken it up and it's also just as easy to thin it out you just add more paint or you add more pouring medium uh, or water depending if that's your your gig okay now this is my swipe color my swipe white which I'm just gonna clean the tip off before I get started okay and um, I'm putting this right in the center and I'm actually going to drizzle it from a height uh, no I'm not there's a real fine line with these um, whether they're in uh, whether they're screwed down not or you know properly all right so that's not helping <laughs> okay people we've got paying customers out there let's take it from the top this time with feeling okay. oh yeah there we go and <gasps> lovely well that came out different saw so the gold coming over the top of the silver And so there's different ways to do this. <laughs> there is a lot of different ways to do this. I think I'm going to use the method where I pull the canvas up, put the cup on the top, and then uh, deal with the fallout. 
Okay, that was not bad, not bad, not bad for my first time. Uh, please leave me a um, comment in the comment section. Um, out of 10, how was my first flip? All right, so I think we've given the paints enough time. Just gonna, yeah, there we go. Very pretty. Okay. Pop that to the side. That is very, very nice. Oh, I'm just throwing paint everywhere. Ugh. All right, some of the blacks come through. So, torchy time. I didn't torch the base, bad me. It didn't look bad though, honestly. Um, normally I'll torch it because I'll be like, oh, I can see it needs it. But I, I did mix this up just a little bit ago. But when it comes out of the cup, you do get some bubbles and dropping it from the height too. There's all those hidden bubbles you need to worry about as well. They are uh, like little ninjas, you know? You don't see it till it's too late. Now, I'm not sure if the white is popping from when I put down the cup. But I don't like it, Sam I am. All right, so um, this is going well. We've got some nice stuff going on there. I'm gonna spread this out now. Actually, I think I'm gonna spread it this way because I really like the way that black was intermingling. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it back to the center. Beautiful. And we'll go back. I thought I might have put a bit too much bass on. Let some of this bass move itself off. I'm trying not to lose too much color right now. Just gonna recenter all this. Having those cells is nice. Just pulling that black off. Just bring it back a little bit. I don't want to stretch it out too much yet. I'm looking forward to seeing how the gold peeks through. I do like the contrast whoop, yeah, of the black in the background. I see I probably could have thickened my paints up a little bit more for this, but you know what, I'm okay. Just want to push that off the edge, there we go. I don't want to stretch this out too much. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit. Down. Wow. That's awesome. Mm. 
I'm just having a look. Yeah, I feel maybe the paint should have been a bit thicker. Um, so I'll look at that at the moment. I think my pouring medium is a little thin, to be honest. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that. I'm just going to uh, torch it. Give the flow troll a chance to do its thing. There is some really nice stuff going on in this picture though. Um, so I can see the gold and the silver have interacted here. We've got this gorgeous lacing throughout. This splash of colour here, like almost radiate, radiating. Do you know, it actually reminds me of lava, like a volcano up here. Lava coming down, burning, burning. And then the beach along here. It's what it really, really reminds me of. You know, maybe the, um, you know, you've got the waves crashing up. You've got the sand. And um, then the beach itself, you know, it's got ash and, um, yeah, just a ash and you know, uh, like coal or charcoal or whatever. It's actually quite lovely. Um, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm just gonna blow this off. There we go. Just didn't like how dark that was unnecessarily. I do like it over here though, cause it almost gives it the rounded feel. Now I don't think I'm gonna touch this one anymore. So next time you'll see uh, you see this beautiful piece, it will be dry, and then the next time you see it afterwards, it will be varnished. Just want to make sure I get enough black on these edges. So thank you for watching this portion of the video, and I hope you enjoy the next portion. <laughs> Oh hey, didn't see you there. Well, thanks for watching this video today. It's been a uh, interesting one. It's coming out very well. A mix of colors that uh, you wouldn't have expected have come out in this vibrant pattern that we have here. Because it started off with pinks and oranges, uh, well, pinks and gold. And you can see it's clearly made some orange. You got pink around, some gold. And it sort of looks like in two different ways, it could sort of be like a volcano where it's erupting and creating new landmass. Or the other thing that I can also see is it's sort of when a tree has been burnt and the fire is going up the tree and leaving these score marks of charcoal around on the tree. But uh, it's definitely come out interesting, like even noticing little bits that look like there's a bit of green in there, but there was no colours of green at all. So this bit of artwork has uh, come out really, really interestingly, I guess you could say. It's uh, got a lot of aspects to it that uh, was not expected from the, the colour pattern at the very beginning. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the flyover that you'll now see that it was before it was vanished.